Exciting times to be a drone fan at this current moment in time. DJI have just launched their latest incarnation in their model range. This is the DJI FPV Mini and they have named it the DJI Avata or Avara as they uh, decided to put it on the uh, promotional advert. And this is going to bring many people a much more immersive experience when it comes to flying FPV and sure looks an absolutely fantastic product. Now, because I'm essentially not on DJI's Christmas card list. I would like to be showing you the DJI Avada right now, but I'm not. So what I'm going to be doing on this video is bringing you an update uh, for the new DJI Fly App 1.7.0, which of course is the DJI Fly App, which launched to be able to support the DJI Avada. Now, speaking of that FPV drone, if it is something you are potentially looking for me to review on the channel, because I haven't decided yet, please do let me know in the comments section below or of course if you are thinking about buying one for yourself please do consider using one of the affiliate links in the video description it really does help the channel out if I'm completely honest with you and um, there's no absolute shame in admitting that so let's get down to business then this is the DJI Fly app 1.7.0 uh, of course as you will know by now the DJI Fly app supports a huge amount of drones including now the Avata the DJI FPV the Mavic Mini the Mini SE the Mini 2 the Air to the Air 2S uh, and the list just goes on and on and of course the DJI Mini 3 Pro as well so of course when DJI do launch a app new app version I like to basically stress test it test it for bugs um, even though DJI say they're bringing this update out to fix some bugs I tend to always usually find some okay and basically this video is absolutely no different um, and I have found a couple of weird little things um, but nothing major basically this video is almost a copy and paste from the last uh, video um, but I did find one additional thing so looking through the menus for a whole host of DJI's drones as you know I have quite a few of them by now um, again I can see nothing particularly new when it comes to features or anything like that and I've been playing around with the DJI Air 2S the Mini 2 as you've just seen in my hand and I've been playing around with the DJI Mavic Mini and of course I did even plug in the DJI Mini 3 Pro to my RC M1 controller to just have a quick flick through the menu and like I've already said guys I cannot really see anything different but one thing I did mention and it's what I mentioned on my last DJI Fly app update that I found um, for some bizarre reason and this is very in intermittent and I know that as a software developer this really doesn't make much sense but sometimes when I powered down the DJI Mini 2 um, and booted it back up again some of the settings that I had changed such as the upward gimbal rotation uh, would actually reset back to off um, and the little colour of the LED light would revert back to off as well however sometimes bizarrely and um, when I actually reset it and did it all over again to try and replicate it sometimes it didn't do that and if all the settings that I just set remained then other times um, they was resetting again uh, back to off so I can't actually give you at this moment in time a logical explanation as to why that may be the case but this is what I'm finding now one thing that of many of you have asked in the comments section since I posted uh, this in my community page is does this fix the DJI flight log issue uh, that did actually remain from the previous one and yes I can confirm that flight logs on DJI drones using the flight app for Android anywhere uh, are syncing absolutely fine with no problems whatsoever Ever. However, one additional thing I just want to point out to you, uh, just so you can make a note of it, um, this is not particularly a complaint as such, this is more of an observation, and again I've been doing my research by asking you guys, uh, the viewers of my channel, uh, your thoughts and what your findings are, however today, yes it's cloudy, there is environmental issues to take into account, it's cloudy, it's raining so I can't perform a full flight test, but even if I wanted to perform a full flight test I just could not get a satellite lock um, after upgrading to DJI Fly 1.7.0 when I was trying to fly the DJI Mini 2 initially it was outside for 15 minutes yes in the rain I kept having to just sort of stand over it and uh, wipe it down etc because I wanted to bring you this video really and um, 
15 minutes and at no point in that 15 minutes did I actually get any GPS notification to say that the home point had been updated whatsoever. And it was the same story with the DJI Mavic Mini as well and the DJI Air 2S. I took three of these drones out um, just to try and see what was going on. Um, the Mavic Mini I gave up after about four minutes. The Air 2S I gave up after about um, three minutes I think it was. Um, and then like I say I was out in the rain with this um, for over 15 minutes and I never got that notification. However, I don't want to just take it on first impressions uh, So I did wait an hour and then actually go back out again uh, Just to see if I could get anything and after about three minutes this finally uh, got the home point updated the notification updated. however shortly after literally a split second later uh, for some reason it dropped back off um, and the uh, the satellites dropped again so I'm not entirely sure what is going on whether it's just this area or just this day in particular or the weather conditions or the cloud cover etc uh, but really I was struggling so I just wanted to pass that on um, because specifically after my last um, update where I didn't find any issues some of you have let me know in the comment section that you have been experiencing this uh, and of course this is the first time that I've experienced it myself so just something for you to be aware of however obviously like I said I couldn't do a full flight test because it is absolutely chucking it down with rain okay um, but overall everything that I did test and I did look at um, on this app does seem to be working absolutely fine so of course as usual i will just make this short and sweet and wrap up this video if you have found anything that i haven't particularly over and above the issues uh, that i've already mentioned in this video please do let me know in the comment section below i'm always interested to hear your thoughts and of course i will always investigate pretty much everything that you send me so that wraps up this video if you do want to learn all about the new dji avatar i will leave a link to that video over here so you can go check that out until next time thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon